ma- manifesting challenges and man. All right, I'm and- sick of the manifest. They, they gotta, they knock gotta, it off, not the move. They, they need to go to like Thailand or Vietnam or something <laughs> and like you know visit a. Uh, a what are a you talking about to, with the geography meditate. cities now? What? What's wrong with you two? <laughs> they- Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tea Time with Tommy. Yo! You know, am I grateful? No, I'm not, because the leaves suck! <laughs> My name is Paula, I am your moderator today, and let's talk about Saturday's game and the Leafs yeah. loss. Tommy, how are you feeling about it? Did you sleep through I this told you guys, we suck. I've told my brother we suck, and I okay. I, I just said we win Game Seven to help the morale of Toronto. I know I'm going to get hate comments for this. Please bring it on, guys. Make the hate comments. But we suck. We suck. And the thing is, we suck in a way where it wasn't really the players' fault or the coaching. We just the hockey heavens don't want us to win the cup. The ghosts of 1967, the ghosts of those 1967 hockey players are walking around Scotia Bank Arena, making sure. Don't get by the first round. And when it's just a big mess right now in the sense that there is really no mess on paper. There's really no mess on the coaching staff. We don't know what the problem is now. It's all about the curse of 1967, guys. The curse is real. That is the problem. And I... I gotta say, I don't take up too much time. I know we're a time limit, Norm. So you, you, you can come on, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a bombshell, guys. I'm gonna drop a bombshell, which no one's gonna talk about, and I'll just bring it right now. I'll do the Stephen A. bombshell right now on the show. I, I will not crazy. blame Austin Matthews if he leaves us in two years. Austin, you are a great player. I will not be mad at you one iota if you leave the Leafs because I'm we're cursed. We're cursed. He's not getting by the first round with us. We're done. So, Austin, if you're watching, don't worry, man. It's not on you. I want the best for you. I want you to touch that Stanley Cup. It is best if in two years, if we still can't get by the first round or second round, we don't touch the cup in two years. Austin, leave. Go to a better powerhouse team. Try to fit the salary cap. I think Colorado Avalanche has that salary cap you can go to and win yourself a cup. Go with the Avalanche. I said it. You did. <laughs> well, what, what does the Leafs have to do, really? Uh, yeah, I completely <laughs> agree with Tommy that, uh, you know, this is probably one of the hardest games the Leafs were trying to push uh, to win game seven and to close off a series. But, yeah, the hockey gods are apparently cursing this team. I, I don't know what you want to call this curse. We have the curse of the Billy Goat of the Chicago Cubs, the curse of the Bambino of the Red Sox. Both have been reversed and uh, died down. But this curse of the Maple Leafs is absolutely real right now. As Tommy uh, has mentioned, I don't even know what to call it. The, the curse of, um, you know, uh, uh, the curse of we suck. Down, but like the, the curse, curse of, of we uh, suck. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there's there's got to be a name for this curse. The curse of the Maple Leafs. I don't know. It's, there's got to be a name. But yeah, I mean, the Tampa Bay Lightning put on a clinic in the third period. They were absolutely sharp in uh, making sure that they keep the lead at two, two to one. Um, Andre Vasilevsky was phenomenal, uh, especially in the third period. Nick Paul, Mississauga native Nick Paul yeah, of thanks, the Tampa Trader. Bay Lightning thanks, scored Trader, two goals. Nick Paul, who belongs on the what kind of he name is, is that? Is that early... like a, what's that a boy band name? <laughs> yeah. He's my early on the, pick on for, the the con, the for the Conn Smythe Trophy. Uh, he's really playing like the consummate trophy contender that he is. And yeah, the lightning absolutely playing like playoff, uh, you know, a playoff franchise. They really showed the Maple Leafs where the playoffs are, how to play it. And, you know, uh, they just uh, battered them down uh, in the last game. So yes, absolutely real. This curse is alive and it's been going on for 20, uh, whatever, 18, 18 years now. 
hopefully, hopefully they'll reverse it somehow, but we, we don't know. We don't know what's going on. Um, is it the defense? I think so. A little bit of the offense, maybe. John Tavares should have contributed more. I know he had that one one goal that that was called back, but he could have done so much more. Uh, yeah, this this team has potential, but they're uh, it's it's maybe it's deficiating. I don't know. There, there's a whole bunch of like you know things that needs to be ironed out uh, for next season. Mm. I'll just go ahead with the next question because I I I, I cannot believe some of the stuff that this. Man, I just said a clinic. They put on a cl- what clinic? <laughs> two two should have been the score. Playoff clinic, my just friend. Just go to the I next mean, question. Nick, all of Nick time with two out. goals. That's a clinic for you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So we're disappointed. That's fair. I totally get it, and rightfully so. I'm sure they feel like crap too. So we're not even going to go go about that. What do you think they need to do in the off season? Trade everybody. <laughs> I mean, what can start from scratch? <laughs> what can they do, <laughs> guys? Norris, Paula, what can they do? Like, and yeah, once again, like, ah, I was just kidding about that. Norris, a clinic, but I mean, they didn't put on a clinic. Like, I mean, I think we put them a clinic on them before game seven, but that's another discussion some other day. But trade, what are we going to do? I mean, what can we possibly do? To get better, we have a good goalie. We have grinders. We have scorers. I don't know what else we can possibly do. Like what? Maybe maybe it's just a mental thing at this point. What if I they, mean, what if they need like psychological training, and that's all they need to do? Yeah. I am gonna it's, go it's, out. It's it's part it's part psychological and part mental. I think that they that they truly need because uh, yeah, what I mean they they want to stay focused, but. You know, in some ways, like they they kind of lose themselves in, in certain situations. That's that's why uh, you know uh, they get into these games and disappoint everybody. So maybe they need to do some manifest ma- manifesting challenges and. Man- All right, I'm yeah. sick of the manifest. They, they gotta, Paula, they knock gotta, it off, not the move. They, they need to go to like Thailand or Vietnam or something, and like you know, visit a. Uh, a what are Buddhist you talking about to, with this geography meditate. cities now? What? What's wrong with you two? <laughs> they, they need they need to sharpen their minds a little bit more and not not go awry when when things uh, you know uh, just uh, gets distorted. Like when they let go of the puck, <sighs> give away the puck, turn over the, you know. Uh, the, the plays it's crazy it's absolutely crazy like mental something's bounce back. Good. yeah like their All mental right. bounce I, back you know and a serious note guys i came on here to have a you know discussion about what we could you know to just have a talk with you two and just try to like get my, myself off the chest but well, all i'm hearing from one from the moderator is manifestation i can't stand and i'm another my co-host is talking about meditating in vietnam for them Bobby? like I am. What is going on, <laughs> guys? We have lost this we have a great goalie time. And we, have, we have great grinders, and we have First great runner. Score. We got this. We got th- what else do we need? Well, where's where's the okay. secret key? For okay, we six straighters, same core players. Uh, can't even get out of the first round. Like, got like okay. I'm gonna give you two real options, guys. How about this? Okay, real legit option is okay. Maybe we need a couple. Maybe we need a defenseman. Big body defenseman, maybe to help block shots for Campbell. Maybe we need like uh, maybe some grinders more, but I think Bunting is really good. show these grinders. Simmons is a good grinder as well. So Spezza, maybe 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 a couple more little veterans that can you know calm the team down. But other than that, I mean, I'm gonna go with option number two, and I'll drop a second bombshell for us to get out of the first round. Everyone's going to call me crazy, especially my lovely co-hosts who are going to call me nuts. Let's say Edmonton loses to Calgary. McDavid <laughs> fails again. Where is McDavid from, guys? Where, is he, where was he raised? Here in the GTA. I think, it was, I think it was Toronto. He's from Toronto. He's a Toronto kid. I mean, hey, I know McDavid won't ask for a trade, but if you're Kyle Dubas, you're like, listen, uh, what do you guys want for Connor McDavid? Straight up, I'd give up Nylander and Marner. Really? Straight up for McDavid. I mean, this guy, did you see him in game seven against the Kings? That's who we need mm. for clutch moments. That goalie mm-hmm. scored to seal the deal. So, I mean, 
Uh, I'm going to drop two bombshells. One bombshell is Austin Matthews. Go ahead and leave. I can't blame you. Another bombshell is, is if, hey, if, if the Oilers don't touch the cup, you're Kyle Dubas, you make that call and see what. I know they're going to laugh. Oilers, general managers, uh, Holland's going to be like, you're out of your mind. Click. But I mean, hey, like, I mean, give it a shot. Like, what else can they possibly do? They have a great roster. They're missing something. May I make a recommendation, Tommy? Maybe you hmm? can maybe you can poll your viewers and see how they feel about manifesting versus trading versus yeah. what they need to do in the offseason. Yeah. Manifesting and meditating in Vietnam is the two things I, I, I can get for. Or you. Indonesia. Good job, guys. Good job. That's how ask, that's ask the your viewers. <laughs> ask your viewers. That's, that's the offseason answer for us. Manifestation and meditation. Dating in Vietnam for the league players. What is Every going on with Indonesia? <laughs> oh my heard, goodness! What did you two drink eat, before the love. show? <laughs> they need a little bit of eat, pray, love to uh, to reflect all uh, you know the things that they need to work on, and maybe it, maybe that'll uh, yeah what, what they'll, that? re they'll refine their th themselves. You know, for next season they'll what, what they'll, did you they'll say? find a path to, to success at some point. Wait, wait go go ahead. Did you just say that where should they meditate? They should do a little bit of eat, pray, love. Yeah. What is that? All right, oh, no. Tommy. We're just going to end this discussion and eat, Norm pray. and I are going to take over. Eat, pray, love. Oh, we may go in the e-group and praying. I, I, I'm, in the, I'm in the Bible study. I'm in the e-group. <laughs> is that what it is? Is that what you guys are talking about? Oh, okay. For, for, for. Next question. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a movie that you... What is this? A meditation class? Yeah. Let's go, get on. Next question. But they oh, got to... They gotta you two have done nothing to help out this uh, discussion at all, by the way. But yeah. continue. All right, all right, all right. Do you think that they'll get by in the first round of the playoffs next year if they do all of the things that Tommy said and what Norbs and I said? Oh, you know my answer is going to be go ahead first, Norbs. <laughs> uh, yeah, for for next season, there's there's a whole lot of things that they need to work on. I think they should start with the defense because uh, guys like Justin Hall and um, Mark Giordano, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, you guys are not playoff contenders. You, you're not focused enough. Uh, you didn't really contribute much to, to the team. I'm very sorry, but Giordano and Hall's got to go. And yes, as Tommy mentioned, they need a big, big defensive acquisition like a Zdeno Chara type, type player. Uh, or like uh, Kevin Shattenkirk or uh, of the Ducks. So uh, any like any like player defense with like postseason playoff experience, I think it would help the Leafs much. And uh, yeah, I I'm sorry to you know uh, break it to John Tavares, but I think Jason Spezza would be a better captain than you because Spezza has contributed what? more. More what yes. Earth and, did uh, you just say? Uh, yeah, I mean John John Tavares is a is a is a good hockey player. Uh, but in terms of his leadership uh, to the team, like it's, uh, I think it's over, over overstated. It's welcome, and I, I, I truly feel that Jason Spezza should be the captain. Yeah, that's a bombshell for me. Mm. <laughs> First, I gotta listen to meditation from you in Vietnam, and now this. Like Spets <laughs> is a good player, but he should take the captaincy from John Tavares. Yeah, out of your mind. Why uh, do we think that? I mean, look at. All right. Basically, the, I think Tavares had a great series. I mean, what is the man supposed to do? He's, he, he can't force the rest of his team to score goals. It was a game of inches, like Matthew said in his post game. It was a game of inches, guys. So it's not, I can't take, I, I, who are you going to blame? Like, I mean, you can't blame anybody. Like, I, what are they supposed to do? Like, the only thing they can do, like I said, sounds insane. Please, I welcome the comments. It can be, Negative or positive, it doesn't matter. Like, but like, please comment if you guys like. But I mean, I know it sounds ridiculous, the Leafs Nation, but hear me out. Like, I mean, they're gonna, they're gonna have to add another player that can actually be clutch. Like, I mean, McDavid is clutch. I'm not saying we're gonna trade for McDavid. That's I don't think it's gonna happen. But I mean, we need a player like that who can in clutch moments perform. Where look at Kachuk last night, Goudreau, clutch players. Now, yeah, they. They haven't really had clutch moments in their career, but those are those are plays we need that we couldn't get from the Leafs players in Game Seven. So I mean, I mean, what we, yeah, I honestly, honestly think either we're going to stay put, are we going to win next year? I'm sorry, no, we're not. We're not getting by the first round because 
no matter what we do, the NHL gods hate us, and they always make us go up against tough teams in the first round, and we always end up losing to the tough teams in the first round. So, I mean, I don't think we're getting by the first round. Check with me next year. Maybe I'll be I'll be more less of a sour Sam guys, and uh, we woke. I'll say we woke it by the first <laughs> round. But I mean, I'm just done. Like, I mean, I'm not the only one. Yeah, I mean, try to understand Loose Nation. I'm not trying to sound like a sour Sam, but I mean, we're dealing with six straight years. What am I supposed to say that wait till next year again? Like, come on. Like, honestly, mm-hmm. I hope we can win. Something's got to give. Like. Uh... I, I, as I, as I always say, there's just always next year. Like people say there's always next year. Yes, there's always next year. Uh, but it all depends on, uh, you know, the chances that you give yourself, the, the chances that the team should uh, take, um, you know, take advantage of uh, free agency, uh, you know, shuffle your lineup around, do whatever it takes. Cause that's exactly what, what teams do in the off season. They, they regroup, they reshuffle and I think the Leafs have have to do that double time. Uh, you know, if, if you can't if you can't like let go of the the coaching staff or like let go of Kyle Dubas, the GM, you know, the only option you, that you have is like shuffle your your roster around uh, to to make it to make it better to make it more um, playoff playoff worthy. Um, so I think that's that's what it is. They All right, to- I'm gonna be I'll be real quick, guys. Like on a serious note, like. <sighs> I say we stand pat with these guys. Stand no, pat you, with can't. Them. you can't. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't know what we can't repeat. Do. We, we can't repeat the same thing year after. But don't no, do something. They got to, they got to, you know, do what? Uh, like we, we're strapped with the calorie. Find the salary. Defense. Sorry. Like, Did I say calorie? Salary. We're strapped with the yeah. salary cap. We can't keep uh, Jordana. We can't keep call, keep Hall. Um, I mean, McCollum's yeah, I mean, gone because of those four guys that were strapped. We can't yeah. resign Michaela next year. Like, I mean, what can we do? Like, the only thing, and I've heard from the experts too, trade Nylander, somebody else. I think I would pick up the phone and, you know, it sounds crazy and give it a shot. Hey, do you want uh, Nylander and uh, Marner for uh, McDavid? I, of course, there's a no. We're but not going to get McDavid. McDavid is stuck in Edmonton for for as long as he. Ah, they said they uh, he, they never get Gretzky in for LA. Like, what, eight to ten they? years, North. like he's he's going to retire in Edmonton. He's not going to go anywhere. Oh, so. that's what they said about Gretzky. <laughs> what happened in '89? <laughs> I'm done with the Leafs. Just go. I'll just conclude it. That's it. That's it. I think we got to shut her down and figure out what we're going to talk about next because we got nothing to talk about now. Apparently, we can talk about Norbs' shirt because he's finally worn a professional shirt for once on the you show. You look hey. fire, Norbs. Okay. Well, well, thank you. My, my pleasure. I mean, this is our last uh, Leafs um, hot take, and you know, I, I figured, hey, I don't know, maybe we might get McDavid going out with for, the bang. for next season, right? Going out with <laughs> the bag. Unless we get McDavid in the trades this off season. <laughs> Oh, All right, man. friends. Well, thanks for tuning in and uh, tune in next time for a while. You'll see. It'll be a surprise for all of us, I guess. Yo. Oh. On the move, guys, for you. Take care. <laughs> and, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe below to Tea Time with Tommy Raptors Basketball, or else Tommy will be very sad. And, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe below.